let's imagine the future, or let's imagine the kind of future we might be able to live in, and see if we can bring that into being. What constitutes us? But we haven't extended our concept of us to include people in the future yet. And so that's what this is about. It's about the idea of extending empathy forward into the future.
cloudy today with sunny periods, the high in central London 12, that's 55 Fahrenheit. A really nice mild winter day after all that cold weather. And I for one am going to get out into the sunshine. Traffic news if you're coming into London from the south, avoid Tower Bridge this morning, there's a half mile tailback. Otherwise traffic's moving pretty freely into London this morning. It's 8.33, 10 degrees and a nice mild day to start the week.
way to get rid of tension is to do just the opposite of all the things that cause it.
different.
Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that was pretty great. have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? Then you would get more and more adventure, and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. Finally, you would dream. dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. That would be within the infinite multiplicity of choices you would have, of playing that you weren't God. That keeps things moving. That's the nature of life. 